Here is breakfast. I am eating outside on the porch. This is oatmeal. It just has a little bit of 2% milk in it, a little bit of water, some raisins, and a little bit of brown sugar. This is what's left over of my oatmeal, which is funny because I didn't think I made that much in the first place, but I got to this point and I was just like, nope, I'm done. Planning on going to JCPenney and getting some new t-shirts to work out in because mine are getting a little big on me. For lunch, I'm going to be having my chicken salsa that I made last night. Literally eat this stuff all the time. I just always have a batch going. So I'm currently using a carb counter tortilla and I'm gonna warm up some of that chicken salsa. Just have to mention again how much I freaking love this. I got this at Target and yeah, it is leak proof. This thing does not leak and you can see how much liquid is in the bottom of this. So there's my chicken salsa. I just remembered I had some avocado from yesterday, so I added a little avocado too, and that's gonna be lunch. After lunch, I went to JCPenney to get some more t-shirts. I love these for working out in them. They're by Arizona Company. See the sleeve here? It's a little bit longer and it covers my flabby, semi-loose skin, so that's why I like those so much. So I'm fully aware that this outfit doesn't match, but I found this skirt and I decided to try it on because I could use a couple of skirts for pickleball. Um, the skirts tend to run a little bit too short, but I do wear black spandex shorts underneath if I wear a skirt. So I didn't get this, but I do love the colors. I wish I could have gotten it. But the main problem is this right here is the midsection. I'm going to lift this skirt up so you can see because of the white shorts underneath. You can really see the gut that I'm working with here. And it just makes it so hard to wear any kind of skir uh, skirt or skort because I really can't tuck the shirt in because then you can really see my gut, but if I untuck the shirt and wear the shirt longer, then I just don't like the look of it. I guess it makes me feel like my torso looks really long when I do that. So yeah, it's just, uh, skirts are tough for me. I wish I could wear them. Um, I did get this shirt though. Now it is the tiniest bit snug around the midsection, but that's okay because hopefully I'm just gonna lose a little more weight anyway, hopefully. You can see that these sleeves are a little bit longer on the arms though, and that's what I love about this shirt. So that's why I got this. That's why I have several of these in different colors because I like the length of I that sleeve. dinner because I had dinner with a friend. I didn't wanna like break out the camera and start recording dinner, but dinner was just a uh, Greek salad at a Greek place. And now I'm making a little snack. I'm making baby carrots and I do have a little bit of leftover pretzels from a bag of pretzels I was eating a different day. And I just threw together a few ingredients and this dip turned out pretty good. So it has non-fat Greek yogurt in it. I also put like one heaping spoonful of light sour cream in it. And then let me turn the camera. So I added to it onion powder, black pepper, sea salt, dill weed. Dill weed is what gives things a little bit of like a ranch taste to it. And then I just mixed it all up and I tasted it as is and already it's quite good. But I think just to kick it up a little, just a little, I'm going to add a touch of Parmesan to it. But honestly, it's super good the way it is. Quick editor's note here. It was actually better without the Parmesan cheese and also less calories. Final thought of the day. Do you guys remember in yesterday's footage I shared what I do with weights? I had a 12 pound weight and I was doing this exercise where I put the weight on top of my knee and I was going like this. And then I put it on the side of my leg and I went like this. Well, I just made that up on the spot yesterday. And today the backs of my legs hurt so bad. <laughs> like every time I like bend over to pick something up, I'm like, ooh. or if I get out of the car, I'm like, oh, so I've kind of always wondered how to work the backs of the legs. There are some uh, gym machines where you can like lay down face forward and then you like lift the back of your legs. I just never really liked those. Well, now I know how. You just put a 12 pound weight, for me it was a 12 pound weight, you just put it on top of your thigh and just go like this and then put it on the side of your leg and then just go like that and you're gonna work the backs of your legs, okay? You're gonna feel it the next day. Go easy.